Danny, the inspiration for this story came from a, a pretty juvenile place, I guess. The Bible, a, right? A very juvenile place. It came from the Bible, the Old Testament, yeah. Uh, no, it came from a big love of those sword and sorcery films of the 70s and 80s. Everything from Beastmaster, Kroll, Dragon Slayer, masterpieces. Right. Yeah. Well, you as a dashing prince is kind of hysterical in itself, isn't it? It is. You know, uh, it is it is a role that I fit into easily. You know, I am a prince in real life. A lot of people don't know that. You know, I'm a monarch. I knew. And uh, you knew that. Yeah. Of which country? Um, Bullshitopia. It's, <laughs> it's a new country. We're just trying to get up on our feet right now. Right. Yeah. How's that working for you? We apply to get into NATO and get rejected. Prince of yeah. Virginia. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That too. Yeah. 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 It's it's in a. It's forest oh, in Virginia. It's, that's, yeah. that's in Virginia. Mm -hmm. okay. It's in Virginia. Yeah, right. it's a country within Virginia. More of a commonwealth, <laughs> really. Right. Commonwealth, yeah. 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 Um, why did you decide to not go straight comedy and add the other elements, the, the, the fantasy and... Uh, you know, to us, it's like, I, I get so bored in spoofs because it's like the joke, it's only about the joke, and once you get about halfway through a spoof, you don't really care what happens to the characters for real, and if you get tired of the joke, you know, you're kind of checked out of the movie. So for us, the whole appeal of this movie was making a real, legitimate fantasy film, a legitimate action film, and just, you know, finding the humor within it, you know, without trying to find the humor by just lampooning the genre. Mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. right. Smart it, answer. Yeah, but I'm <laughs> thinking. It takes a lot of brains to make up all these dick jokes, I'm telling you. <laughs> well, my knowledge of mythology is quite good, but I oh. think it is the, uh, the first Minotaur erection we've seen on film, isn't it? We are, uh, we are pushing boundaries yeah. for sure with this film. You know? yeah. It's a historical picture, really. <laughs> One of the we, first uh, erections that you've seen in like a... Honestly, I think it is the first it. erection that you've seen is in a rated it's film. Like it's because part it's not beast? real. Yeah, because it's part beast. Yeah. Wow. So obviously we had to say that the bull dick was the dick was the bull part, not the man part. If it was the man part, then it's although it was modeled after David's penis. Okay. Yeah. After David, the director's penis. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Uh, he, he wouldn't uh, admit that. He actually was inside the suit, and actually his own <laughs> penis is inside of the penis of the bulls. That's how it works so well. Yeah. Yeah. That's an unusual kind of trophy. It is. Talk it about is the spoils of war. Yeah. Right. That's yes. it. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Uh, James, your character Fabius. Uh, well, come on, let's just call him Fabulous. Oh, thanks, man. C clearly, <laughs> <laughs> you uh, you can't play him for laughs, though. He, you, you've got to kind of approach him as a somewhat serious character, don't you? Um. Yeah. I mean, he's you know he's the. Uh, the brother that's supposed to be perfect. He's not the smartest guy in the world, but in a, in a lot of other ways, he 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 does kind of outshine his brother. Um, so, yeah, you have to present him that way. I mean, if you hmm. presented him as anything other, it just wouldn't. The movie would kind of fall apart. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And how tough was it for you to sing that poorly? <laughs> Well, I know nobody will believe me, but honestly, David Gordon Green wanted me to sing badly. So, I'm not saying I'm the best singer, but I'm not that bad. He is pretty incredible. <laughs> the moment you open up your mouth, I just I thought of Peebo Bryson. Okay. I was like, James is a dead ringer for well, Peebo Bryson. Well, look, all I gotta say is I met Smokey Robinson on the plane today, and uh, he came over and said he liked my work and I should keep up, you know, being awesome, and that we're gonna do something together. So. Has he heard little, you sing? jokey conversations like this are going to be, but you know, yep. eating themselves. You and Smokey. I saw it coming a mile away. Right. Yeah. It so is a I. bit of a reunion of sorts for you all with with, uh, with David from the, the Pineapple Express hit, hits the Middle Ages or something like that? Yeah, you know, we uh, that's where David and I first met James, and David and I went to film school together, so we've known each other for a while, and uh, when we came up with the idea for this film, you know, it seemed like a good opportunity to uh, to force James into working with us again. Uh -huh.